I'm Bear Grylls. Now, I'm in Australia's outback, a vast wilderness. I'm going to show you the skills needed to survive out here. Hear that? It's thunder. Oh, it's amazing, you know? Sun, I tell you, it's going to be rain within a few hours. It's all moving this way. Out here in the wet season, the intense humidity and the tropical cyclones can lead to sudden thunderstorms. If you want to have a campfire for the night, you've got to collect some tinder now while it's dry. A lot of the bushes around here uh, are these kapok bushes. And look, I can tell that just from these, uh, these leaves that are soft, they're furry, and they're kind of shaped like a maple leaf as well. But what I'm after is the seed pods uh, that grow on them. Here you go. Yeah, look. Pull this down. And look, you see these ones here? Here you go, pull this off. And just inside, there's like this cotton wool. But this stuff, is great for tinder for making a fire. So I'm gonna just collect a few of these and that will really help me. The kapok shells not only protect the seeds, but also help keep that cotton wool tinder dry. The north of Australia is one of the most lightning prone areas on earth. Some storms have produced over 1500 lightning flashes in just a few hours. You can see those dark clouds and over here, the blue stuff that's just moved, and that is all heading my way. If the weather closes in like this, you'll need some sort of shelter. Yeah, I need to get off this rock now and make camp. With storms come rain, and in the Kimberley, almost three foot of rain has been known to fall in only nine hours, and that can lead to treacherous flash floods. I feel that wind blowing straight towards me. And yeah, it's really starting to pour now. The bad weather is about to hit me. I've got minutes until the deluge begins. Even though I'm not staying out here tonight, I'll show you how the Aborigines would build shelter against this sort of rain. Okay, what I can do here is build a bit of a bed straight across from here, one brace here, one onto this ledge. And the worst thing you can do when it's a torrential thunderstorm is just be on the ground because all of this can just turn uh, to water. So first thing is, I need a platform. The native Australians use whatever is at hand to do this. Sticks for the framework, ivy for the cordage, and bunches of leaves make perfect roofing and bedding. God, I hear that? And this is getting closer as well, this lightning. And that's where the 100% humidity has gone straight up in the air, and now they're pouring down. And this is a wet season, Kimberley, Northern Australia. I was building a bed. This five minutes ago was completely dry. And look, it's now a foot of water. And do you know the amazing thing is? Tomorrow, it will be all bone dry again by lunchtime. So look at that, you see that? Just pouring off this sandy outcrop. It might well just stop raining in five minutes time. So I want to fill this up. This is just like manna from heaven. Wow! That's so nice. Come on, rain! 